for us. It's that's nice, that's especially after having a little bit of a disappointing Olympics to get right back so at it. You always want to get a crack at it again. So we've just been waiting for this opportunity and it's nice that it's sooner rather than later. Yeah, it's, it's what the women's game deserves. Um, you know, there's a reason someone recognized that there wasn't a women's world championship in an Olympic year like, like there is a men's world. Um, and, uh, you know, we're seeing the change, we're living the change as we're here in Denmark in August and uh, six months after the Olympic Games. So it's uh, exactly what the game deserves and obviously a great start for our team. To be able to put this jersey on, to be in that room with these amazing players and obviously there's, there's some new faces in the room, there's some, a new style of play, there's a new structure. Um, I think, you know, we're going to be a more disciplined team and I think that showed um, in the 60 minutes that we had here today and we're just going to keep building on it because, you know, it's only been a couple of weeks that we've been together so we've got to get better every game. There was absolutely, it has to be next person up mentality. Um, doesn't matter who gets called upon to be on the power play, the penalty kill, five on five, what, what goaltenders in net. Um, you know, we have to be a solid group of 23 and, you know, whoever's called upon to do a task, they got to do that task. And I think the balanced scoring is, is reflective of that. A lot, of, a lot of different items today and uh, mainly focused on our offensive zone play. And uh, I thought we were diligent with that, touching puck first and, and then making an educated play with it, predictable play with it afterwards. And I thought our efficiency level was outstanding. And I liked the amount of uh, net front play we had. And that wasn't just a scramble at the net. There was a lot of, a lot of thoughts going into it and, and some methodology that, that we implemented. So uh, I was very happy with that, that portion. I was just, I was looking for the seam pass and then it hit high Z and then it trickled to me and I was just going to shoot and then I faked it and just backhanded it. So I was just excited to be a part of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we came in the room in between periods and I didn't see it in real time, but I saw okay. it on the Jumbotron about six additional times and I was like, I realized how, how nice it was at each and every replay. And that's why I actually said that to you in between periods. Like, that was really nice. Uh, so yeah. Very nice. Yeah, we have some new, fresh faces. Uh, this one next to me, we have some really, really good young talent. Different coaching, so our style of play is changing, and we're, I think we're in a really good spot right now. I like where our team's going. I think that we're trying to play that fast-paced hockey, and we have the players to do it. It was awesome. I mean, we play with such pace and such fire. Um, it's definitely a new atmosphere for me, but they make me feel at home, and it's awesome. That's why I was able to be comfortable and, and confident, especially with awesome moments like Kessie and Carp today. You know, you get her into practice, and you know she she gives, she passes the eye test in regard to the skills. You know, she's got, uh, you know, she's got a strong frame, and and then she's got, you know, she's got a glide glide to her that is very impressive. Where she's it's almost effortless the way that she can get up and down the sheet. A lot of power to her game, but also then she's got the hands to sort of to complement that in round round out and and be just very dangerous. And so, you know, now it's it's just about for her, I think. Kind of honing in on the details and the you know the, to to make her a, a complete 200 foot player at this level and those are things that can only come through experience and and being here you know so luckily we luckily we have her here and you know hopefully we can uh, continue to build her game as the tournament progresses. I think that anytime you can can have that youthful exuberance and uh, you know those the new personalities coming in and injects life into the group and so. You know, it was massive to have that uh, that part of the equation, uh, and you know the fact that they've shown up and earned spots on the team. You know, is, is a credit to them because they, they weren't spots that were just given out. You know, they had to come in and prove that they were national team players, and um, you know their their play today sp spoke for themselves. I thought there were some rookie moments the other night against Canada, a little bit of intimidation possibly even, uh, but uh, to, tonight they looked they looked the part, and you know that's why they're that's why they're here. It should start to gain, uh, you know, confidence as a group, and I think that that's, it. you know, yesterday was the first time this collection has been on the ice together, and we're still, we're still shorthanded. We still didn't have Josh Skiba here, you know, and so that's, and we didn't have Taylor until today as well. So, you know, that's sort of the idea, uh, you know, that we've, that we're, you know, we're finally getting this group together. Um, so, that by no. No stretch of the imagination were we expecting us to be on our on our game, um, and you know now that we're starting to build as a team, the individual play will start hopefully start to shine. That each individual will get a little more confident with their game through the through the team building our brand. When I spoke to the AP, uh, that was that's one of the, the big focus points. I think that you know uh, international ice uh, ice hockey is always in these IHF games. You, you get to the point where. Um, you, it's great to have your superstars produce, uh, you know, the ones that everybody knows, the household names, but you really do need to scale your lineup and you have some unexpected players. And I, I've realized that from, 
even working U18s, it's always the, the federations that have the depth and the federations that get scoring from, from up and down their lineup and, you know, just unexpected heroes almost every game, you know, mm -hmm. type of thing. And so um, we're going to be looking for that same effort from everybody to have sort of a, on a grading scale a B-plus game every single night at the very least. But then, you know, hopefully there's a couple players that rise up and have those A, a games and, you know, sort of uh, leave a lasting impression on you.